Is the Dominican Republic a safe country? Let's take a closer look. Let's explore the statistics from the United Nations on drugs and crime and see how the Dominican Republic measures up. Now, remember that safety can be a subjective term, but crime rates provide a concrete way to compare different places. Let's check out the DR. 12.37 per 100,000 is the crime rate. Now let's compare with other islands. Renata, for example, has 6.37, Guadalupe 5.78, and you're probably saying the DR is pretty high, right? Well, let's take a look at other very popular destinations in the Caribbean. The Bahamas, which by the way, the Bahamas received almost 10 million visitors in 2023, and it has a crime rate of 31.22, more than double than the DR. I've been to the Bahamas and I'm sure many of you have too. Another popular Caribbean destination, Jamaica. Mm, Jamaica has a rate of about 53.33 per 100,000, which is a month the highest in the region. This is over four times higher than the Dominican Republic. Now let's go to South America and check out Brazil, for example, 20.60. I remember when I was going to Brazil and people were telling me, why are you going there? It's so dangerous. After I went, I realized that people project their own fears. When I was in Rio, I felt completely safe. Common sense plays a big part in all of this. You know, being aware of your surroundings and feeling the energy. Now, let's look at safety in the United States. Ooh. <laughs> Overall, the U.S. has an average of 6.81. But let's dig a little deeper. Comparing the DR to cities in the United States offers yet another perspective. While the U.S. is generally considered safe, certain cities have a crime rate that surpasses those in the Dominican Republic. Mm -hmm. Louisiana, New Orleans. We're looking at 39.50. I went to New Orleans. Nobody said anything about not being safe. Baltimore, Maryland, with a homicide rate of approximately 55 per 100,000. This stark contrast challenges the perception that the Dominican Republic is unsafe compared to the US. Let me show you this. Let's Google, is the Dominican Republic safe? You get this that says, Dominican Republic level two, exercise increased caution. Country summary, violent crimes, including armed robbery, homicide, and sexual assault is a concern throughout the Dominican Republic, June 18, 2024. If you read this and you don't know about the numbers we just discussed, you'll probably not go to the DR. Now let's go to international travel and see what other countries are level two, like the DR. Oh, that's surprising. Chile, Costa Rica, Panama, France, Italy, Spain and United Kingdom. And there's, wow, there's more countries on level two. Actually, it looks like almost the whole world is level two. I raise my case. While no place is without its issues, the Dominican Republic stands out in the Caribbean for its safety, especially when compared to certain regions in the Caribbean and some cities in the United States. Stigma sometimes speaks louder than the truth. And the news often gets, not often, all the time, get sensationalized. When we look at the hard data, the Dominican Republic emerges as a relatively safe destination. So whether you're strolling through the historic streets of Santo Domingo, relaxing on the beach in Punta Cana, or exploring the lush, beautiful mountains of Samana, you can feel confident in the safety and security that the Dominican Republic offers. With a little common sense and awareness, you can enjoy all the beauty and vibrancy this Caribbean gem has to offer. That's all I got for you today. Thank you for watching and please don't forget to subscribe if you're enjoying this content. Nelson Polanco, your Dominican Realtor.